wanted to let you know really quick that for the month of November, when you sign up with me on Patreon for at any level, you're going to get a free reading from me, a free 20 minute reading from me. Okay. So as a thank you from me, as an introductory thing from me for the month of November, sign up on Patreon at any level and you're going to get a free reading. Okay. What's up, Leo? How are you? Welcome to my channel, Triple Moon Oracle. It is your November reading. Um, and the way we're going to do this is we are going to do, um, we're going to look at, uh, overall energy and see what's going on right now. So like, what do you need to know right now? And then, um, in the extended video, we're going to look at what do you need to know for the future regarding this situation. So if you want to catch that, um, the ending of the reading, definitely, um, watch the extended version. The link is below for that. Okay. Um, that is on Patreon and when you subscribe to Patreon, it's very, very cheap. Um, you'll get access to all of my extended videos and then you're going to get like bonus videos. You're going to get entered into contests to win free readings every month. Um, you're going to get discounts like, you know, the list goes on. Okay. It's just even the higher you go, um, in subscription. So, um, even the highest subscription is 25 and the lowest is $3. Okay. So, um, check that out. And the highest, the 25, you can get, you get a reading every single month, a 30 minute reading every single month for being at the 25 level. Um, and an organic tote bag with my logo on the front. Okay. Okay. So, um, let's see what else link below for my Patreon. The link, um, is below for my website, for my jewelry. Oh, um, and this is the Sagittarius necklace. This has the Sagittarius crystals on it. This is a like amethyst, um, oh my God, Labrador, Labradorite and turquoise. Um, and then I have my friends, uh, Instagrams on there as long as my, as well as mine, my friends, they make these amazing shirts. This is Buddhist brand here. And then um, my other friends do crystals. So this is one of their crystals and this is one of their necklaces. So anyways, they're on there. Um, my Facebook group is on there. I do like pick a card readings in my group. Um, I post in there pretty regularly just with random stuff. Um, and you'll get updates about my videos and um, launches and different things like that. Okay. And then links to purchase all of the decks that I use. So I'm going to be using Wisdom of the Oracle, um, the Muse Tarot, the Numinous Astrology deck, and um, the Archangel Tarot. Okay? All right, let's get started. So, first of all, I've been feeling like really, really heavy energy lately. And I just feel like, I don't know, I, I pick up the energy of each Zodiac season. Um... And right now we're in Scorpio and I feel like I know Scorpio is the season where we kind of face our shadow sides. And I've been really, really facing my shadow side, like really struggling with some deep um, seated just frustration and issues that are inside of me that are like coming out. And it just feels like heavy energy. So if you have something funny to say, anything at all, something funny, a joke, something uplifting, encouraging, whatever, just drop that in the comments because I think we all need, I think this year's just been hard in general, so we all need some kind of encouragement. So if you have something, drop it in the comments below. I'm going to pin my favorite one to the top, okay? Um, also, thumbs up and subscribe if you um, enjoy my readings, okay? I'm a pretty new channel, so I started in March. Um, and it's just like just getting traction, just getting footing. So all of the likes and subscribes really help me get into the algorithm. So definitely give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoy me and yeah, we'll get started. So this is for Leo sun, moon rising. Um, if this does not resonate, then don't go ahead and check your sun or your moon and rising. Um, and yeah, watch your moon and rising signs, you know, uh, sun sign, all of them for all of the months that you've missed my previous months. Okay. I kind of switch up my reading styles, um, or my spreads, I should say every month, just depending on how I'm feeling. Oh, and I was channeling a message for you guys before I started. 
And basically what I heard was, um, you can call it source energy, God, whatever the name is that you, you know, um, great spirit, like whatever the name is you want to call it. But, um, that higher power was speaking to me saying to believe that it's there and believe that it's real and know that, um, it's there guiding you and your spirit guides are there guiding you. Your angels are there guiding you. You have a spirit team guiding you. And, um, I kind of feel like you've been feeling alone lately. So trust that you have something higher than yourself with you. Um, and the more you trust in that and, and understand you can be guided by that and ask for help from them, um, and it, then, you know, I think that you'll feel a lot better. Okay. And more connected. So we have soulmates and blessed with opening the deck there. I always like to see what's on the inside of the deck when I like pull the cards apart. We have breathe and blessed. Okay. I feel like just getting in touch with your guys is, um, you know, with your spirit team, getting in touch with your uh, higher power, never ending story and blessed. <laughs> I'm not taking reversals right now either. I'm just, unless I really feel like one needs to be reversed, um, I just won't. Okay, so those just dropped out. I'm going to take them. So we have Yang, <clears throat> we have Peace, and we have Never Ending Story. Okay. We have Unfinished Symphony. Come to the Edge and Why. Here and Now. And time to go. Okay. And then we're going to take spirit in a bottle or a message in a bottle too. All right. So, um, I just, I just feel like you're on the verge of something amazing right now. I feel like, uh, you are, you have some love situation here that is, um, continuing to frustrate you and continuing to make you feel like this. <laughs> it's something that always just feels unfinished. It feels like um, you can't escape it. It's It keeps happening. It might be um, a cycle of the kind of relationships you get in or it's um, actual person in your life that you just feel like you can't really escape. But I do feel like you're on the verge of... Um, something different right now. And I feel like, um, I feel like you're really trying to tap in more to your divine masculine, just your divine self. You're trying to find peace right now. And you just, it's, it's a struggle to find peace. I feel like you have a lot of questions for God, for the universe, wondering what to do, struggling with past issues and what's going to happen in the future. Um, but it's time to go move on from something or somebody moving on from something or somebody that's no longer, um, it's just no longer an energetic match. It's no longer serving you. It's no longer part of who you are. It's, um, and the spirit is telling you it's time to move on from this. Okay. Whatever it was that's bringing you this pain and whatever it is that feels like it's just always unfinished business, it's time to move on from that um, because you're on the edge, on the verge of something new and amazing. And I really feel like, you know, uh, letting that go is going to tip you over that edge and give you the ability to fully dive into what it is you truly want and and need in life um but you know you continuing to hang on to this situation here is you know kind of killing you um this could be for some of you this is not 
may be a person. This is not a love situation. This might be a job. This might be something that just always kind of lingers in your life, um, a friendship even. So this could be anything that just always feels like, uh, it's like hanging on to me and I can't get it off. And, but it's causing me this kind of pain and anxiety. Okay. The reason why for, a, I feel like it's, um, a love situation for a lot of you is because this mm-hmm. here, it says, love me. Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no. And she's sitting on top of this, you know, it's like, she's waiting to find out if she's loved or not. Um, and you know, this could just be you and your self worth, like wondering if you're worth love at all, but you know, um, and you're just, you're always quite in, never quite in that place where you're feeling like you're worthy of love. And it always just feels like some kind of unfinished symphony. Like, am I ever going to feel okay? You know, but spirit is saying here, this is spirit. This is the card for spirit is saying it's time to let that shit go. Okay. It's time to move on from the past here and it's time to dive into what is next for you um because it's amazing you do have a lot of questions though i feel like with this why card kind of really grasping for like why certain things are the way they are why you feel the way you do about certain people why you feel stuck in certain things why you never feel quite worthy of love why 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 and maybe that's why I was getting that message yeah I just got chills maybe that's why I was getting the message to really trust right now in your higher power um and ask the actually ask your higher power for help ask your angels for help ask your guides for help like literally out loud say please help me with this and um you will see something change I truly believe that, okay? All right, let's um, let's clarify this never-ending story here and see what's going on with that, okay? All right, Spirit, what is going on with never-ending story? Let us know. Never-ending story, okay? Yeah, so we have uh, Four of Cups. Um, it's just something that leaves you feeling dissatisfied always. You know, it's like, as much as you feel like you want to keep going back to this situation, it's never fulfilling. It's never quite fulfilling. It's always lacking. Um, and that's just a sign from the universe, sign from God, that it's no longer serving you. It's no longer a vibrational match. Um, you can try as hard as you want to like fit the puzzle pieces again, but it's just not there. Um, yeah, I feel like the, you know, the advice here is to just, like, stand your ground in this situation. Um, you know, put up some, it's, this card can be about resilience and determination as well. Um, and just having that resilience to bounce back from this um, and the determination to understand that you know, you can move forward from this, okay? The other card we have is the world. Um, so the world talks about, uh, you know, you finishing out some kind of cycle, some kind of, um, like, you know, attainment. And uh, this is like, yeah, this is like full coming full circle, okay? So you have come full circle with this situation um it's always you know dissatisfying it's always not what you want it to be because it's over because it's Mm -hmm. you've moved on because it's the end of the cycle there okay yeah karma has worked itself out here in this situation um the karma has been you know, worked out. And so now it's time to just move on. This connection here or whatever it is, is bringing you a lot of anxiety and sleepless nights. 
another reason to let it go, okay? What else for the uh, regarding the never ending story? Thank you. Okay, so we have the Ten of Pentacles. So I feel like whatever the situation was um, or is, you know, it's like you had high hopes. You had really high hopes about this situation. You had dreams of um, it turning into amazing things. You had dreams, you know, all these visions of this happy uh happy financial life, a happy um, family, a happy marriage, a happy this, a happy that. Like you had all of these visions of this, but really what you're getting is this and it sucks. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh. It's really sad actually. Um, but I just, I mean, for some, some of you need to hear this, that the karma has been worked out. Okay. Karma has been worked out, and it's time to move on. <clears throat> yeah, this is the this is the vibration of of independence and moving on solo. Um, this is you like flourishing in your independence and in your in your aloneness. But yeah, you feel defeated. You feel really defeated by this situation and you definitely need some time out. You need some deep rest. You, this has burnt you out. You have been burnt out by this situation. Okay. Possibly with another fire sign. Yeah. And the queen of wands. So we have the page of wands and the queen of wands. So some of you are dealing with somebody younger. Somebody, some of you are dealing with somebody older um more mature somebody more immature but either way it might be a fire sign another leo sagittarius or aries okay but yeah it's definitely time to speak your truth here um this is you speaking your truth letting people know how you truly feel um and verbally saying i no longer want to deal with this um and I need a timeout, you know. For some of you, it's just going to take maybe a, a timeout. Um, yeah, and then we have the, the Ace of uh, Wands here. This is a brand new, um, fresh start, fresh beginning. So some of you are going to completely move on. And some of you should completely move on. Um, so others of you, you know, might just need a timeout might just need a break. Um, I'm not going to sit here and tell like, you know, married people with families and stuff just to break up. But the situation is very stressful. Um, and it's causing you a lot of, we have the nine of swords, the four of swords and the five of swords. This is like really rough energy, you guys, super rough energy. Um, this is burnt out. This is really feeling defeated. This is anxiety and sleeplessness and insomnia because of this situation. It's painful, but things have turned around and this is, you know, this is you having a fresh start and, and vibrating in your own beauty and independence. Okay. This is you getting really real and verbal um, and truthful with how you feel. Okay. All right. Um, let's see. We clarify, come to the edge. Let's just clarify the rest of this here. Any more finish this reading in the extended, okay? Yeah. Look into the future. Knight of Pentacles. Page of Cups. And Ten of Swords. So, yeah. It's a painful beginning. 
And then this, yeah, hangman. So surrender, looking to the future, um, looking towards your, you know, um, like your material world, your success, your, your building your life back up around you. Um, you know, trusting in the universe for new beginnings. This is a painful ending, but which brings a new beginning. Okay. So some of you are going to face a really painful ending, but it's going to bring something new. Um, and this is you just taking a time out, gaining a new perspective and, you know, looking towards the future. Stop looking this way and look this way. Okay. She's looking this way. She's turned this way. She's done with every, all the shit back here. All right. This is the past. It's back there. And this is the future. It's up here. She's just chilling in the middle. She's like, I'm just going to enjoy my fucking time in the middle here. You know, chilling out on the rope. Being the hangman. Gaining a new perspective on life. Trusting in my, you know, in my God and my higher power and source and my universe to guide me. Because this shit is done. So... Done so. Okay, we're gonna finish this reading in the extended. Um, and uh, but if this is where I leave you, then thanks for watching. We're gonna um, also look at zodiac signs in the extended too, and see what uh, what signs we might be working with here. I got my zodiac cards here. Okay, so we're gonna see what zodiac signs we're we're looking at here for you. Um, and we're gonna finish this reading. Okay, so um, I will see you guys either there or I'll see you later. Okay, bye.